The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, seventh chapter, text number two through four, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on October 14, 1975, in Durban, South Africa. So, I shall try to speak on some of the preliminary important slokas from Srimad Bhagavatam, how Srimad Bhagavatam was compiled by Vaisde under the instruction of Sri Narad Muni. So the description was given by Sutta Goswami in a very big meeting at Naimisharana thousands of years ago. And the Sutta Goswami is describing how Srimad Bhagavatam was compiled. Sri Sutta Uvacha Brahmanatyam Saraswatyam Asrama Postime Tati Samma Prasa Iti Prokta Rishinam Satravadhana. There is a place, Samma Prasa, uh, above Haridwar, where uh, Bastard Asram was situated on the river Brahmanadi, Saraswati, uh, on the east, uh, western side, Pushchimi Tati, Rishinam uh, where all the great sages and saintly persons used to perform sacrifice. Tasme in Asrame, Tasmin Shastrami Vyasa Bhagari Sanda Mandite. The ashram was surrounded by very trees. Bhagari Sanda. Sanda means tree. Asina Upasprisha Panidadhu Manasrayam. So in that ashram, Formerly, big, big saintly persons, they used to live in forest ashram. Now, uh, they have to come far away from ashram to South Africa because people have forgotten. Formerly, big, big person, they used to visit the ashrama. But nowadays, people are not interested. Onartha, uh, they are captivated by the uh, material, uh, external energy. Uh, it is said, that not only now, formally also, but formally the number of people who are not interested were very, very small. At the present moment, the number of interested people are very, very small. That is the Kalyuga. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu he inaugurated this Krishna consciousness movement that people are in this age are no more interested in their uh, value of life. They are in darkness. Therefore, Vaishnava, uh, under the instruction of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, should go door to door country to country, town to town, and preach Krishna consciousness for their benefit. 
পৃথিবীতে আছে যত নগরাদি গ্রাম সর্বত্র প্রচার হই চৈতন্য মহাপু ডিজায়ার দ্যাট অন দি সার্ভেস অফ দি গ্লো অ্যাজ মেনি টাউনস অ্যান্ড ভিলেজেস আর দ্যার দি কৃষ্ণ কনসিয়াসনেস মুভমেন্ট শুড বি স্প্রেড অ্যান্ড এভরি ওয়ান ইন্ডিয়ান স্পেশালি ওয়াজ অ্যাডভাইজ টু টেক আপ দিস মিশন অ্যান্ড প্রিচ হি সেড ভারত ভূমিতে মনুষ্য জন্ম হইল যা জন্ম সার্থক করি কর পর উপকার পর উপকার মিন্স টু ডু ওয়েল টু আদার্স দিস ইজ ইন্ডিয়াজ মিশন ইন্ডিয়াজ মিশন এ টু এলিভেট আউটসাইড ইন্ডিয়ান because outside india people are interested only how to make money and live materially comfortable they do not know anything more than that this is anartha this is anartha people have become interested only in bodily comfort they do not know that we are not this body we are spirit soul and we have got different interest of the spirit soul than the bodily interest the bodily interest is there even in cats and dogs they also take care of the body as much as possible by them Similarly, if we simply take care of the body and do not take care of myself, what I am, what is my necessity, then it is suicidal. And that is going on all over the world. People are interested only in bodily comforts. They do not know that within this body, there is spirit soul and he has got a different type of business or mission that we have forgotten uh, therefore bas de has given us this literature the history of this literature is being described tasmin sa asrame vyas bagari sannamandite আসিন অপ উপস্পৃশ প্রণীদ মন স্বয়ং নাও নারদ মুনি ইনস্ট্রাক্টেড হে নারদ মুনি ইজ ব্যাসদেব ইজ গুরু সেসদেব প্রেজেন্টেড বিফোর নারদ মুনি দ্যাট আই হ্যাভ রিটেন সো মেনি বুকস মহাভারত পুরাণ বেদান্ত সূত্র and Upanishad and so many things, but I am not feeling very much happy. So, Narada Muni instructed me that you have done so many things, that is all right, but you have not described very elaborately about the activities of the Supreme Law. Therefore, you are unhappy. So, I advise you that you take up this business in writing, then we will feel happy. So, under his instruction, he uh, sat for meditation. He says, it is that, asina apa usas prisya. Before meditation, this is the process, you take water, asman. নমো অপবিত্র পবিত্র বা সর্বাবসাঙ্গতরি পণ্ডরি কা খং সা বাহ্য মন্ত্র শ্রী বিষ্ণু শ্রী বিষ্ণু শ্রী বিষ্ণু থ্রি টাইমস হ্যাভ টু টেক ওয়াটার অ্যান্ড টেস্ট ইট দ্যাট ইজ কল উপস্পৃশ সো হি ডিড ইট আসিনা অপ উপস্পৃশ প্রণীদ্ধ মন 
then he began to concentrate his mind, uh, meditation. Uh, so that is called yoga. This meditation means bhakti yoga. Meditation, that is the real meaning. Uh, nowadays meditation has become a fashion, but meditation is described in the Vedic literature uh, the yogis, they uh, meditate. Dhyanavasthita. Dhyanavasthita tadgatena manasa. The mind becomes fully absorbed in Krishna consciousness. Tadgatena. That means transcendental absolute truth. Om tattva. So, tadgatena manasa, mind being, our mind is very restless. Uh, so, it is very difficult. Five thousand years ago, when Krishna instructed Arjuna to concentrate his mind, meditate, or meditate upon super soul, so Arjuna frankly admitted that it was not possible for him. He said to Krishna, my dear Krishna, you are advising that is nice, but it is not possible for me. Chanchala himmana krishna pramathi valabhadriyam. Mind is so restless, just like wind blowing. So, to capture the mind, to make him pacify, it is a very difficult job. I don't think I shall be able to do it. Arjuna refused. Uh, but Arjuna was a great devotee. Therefore, Krishna encouraged him. Uh, Arjuna did not know anything except Krishna, always thinking of Krishna. Then he encouraged him that, my dear Arjuna, for you, you are the best too. Why? He described, Jogi Nama Pi Sarvesham Madhugata Antaratmana Sadhyavan Bhajati Juma Sami Juttatam. He is first class Jogi. Who? Jogi Nama Pi Sarvesham Madhugata. Simply thinking of Krishna. Madhugata. Antaratmana within the core of heart. All is thinking of Krishna. Jogi nama pi sarvi sa madhagata antaratvana sadhyavan bhajati yoma. So we are teaching this. Krishna consciousness movement means we are teaching our disciples how to think of Krishna 24 hours. This is Krishna. And the simple method is to chant. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. So our, this is the process. We have got this uh, big bag, and within this bag there is a bead, and we chant each, we capture each bead and chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare. One bead equal to sixteen times. So, the whole bead chain, there is hundred and eight. So, one round means about seventeen hundred. In this way, our these disciples are advised to chant at least sixteen rounds. This is our daily duty. It takes about two hours. And after that, we are engaged in so many other businesses. Somebody is typing or printing books. Somebody is going to sell books. Somebody is collecting subscription. Somebody is cooking for the temple deity, Radha So, in this way, uh, our uh, inmates or our Members 
are always engaged. Ki taniya sadahal. This is the commendation. Aap sri chaitan ramana pur. Samaha rada. Be engaged 24 hours in Krishna consciousness. Then your life is successful. Hmm. So Krishna advised the Jovi Namati Sarvisa Madhgata Antaratmana. So here, Basde sat in his ashram and began to meditate, means he was thinking of Krishna. Uh, here it is said. Bhakti-yogena, bhakti-yogena manasi sammak pranihiti amali, apasat purusham purna mayaan sasadapasraya. So, if we meditate in bhakti-yoga, that is bhakti-yoga, as Krishna advised, that uh, Yogi nama pi sarvi saam madhgata antra suddhyava. Suddhyava, I mean, faith and love. If one thinks of Krishna, bhakti yogina, then everything is revealed to you. Revealed to you. That is also confirmed in the Bhagavad Gita. Te saam satat yuktanam bhajatanga priti purvakam. Buddhi yogam dadami tam. Jino mama kujyanti. Krishna said, anyone who is engaged, satatam. Satatam means twenty-four hours. Uh, he has no other thinking except Krishna. Savai mana Krishna padar vinde. This is spoken about Maharaj Amuris, who was the emperor of the whole world. He was doing his duty as a responsible king. But still, Savai Mana Krishna Padarabindayu, he fixed a, his mind at the lotus feet of Krishna. Bachansi Vaikuntha Gunan Varnam. And when he used to speak, he used to speak about Krishna. Bachansi Vaikuntha Gunan. When he was to walk, he used to go to the temple. Uh, when he was to hear something, he was hearing Hare Krishna Mahavan. When he was to smell something, he was smelling the flowers offered at the lotus feet of Krishna. When he was eating, he was tasting the Krishna Prasadam, the food star. First of all, to Krishna. So we can engage our senses in that way. Set by such an example by Gambhurish Maharaj. How to utilize our senses for Krishna consciousness. That is bhakti. Rishikena, Rishikesa, Sevananga, Bhakti Ruchat. Bhakti means when you engage your senses. For the service of the Lord. Just like example set by Maharaj Amuris. This example is there because who can be more busy than a responsible king? He has to do so many political affairs. And still his mind was fixed up. Sabai Mana Krishna Padara. In Krishna Pathak. This is the point. So here also, as they, he uh, applied meditation in bhakti yoga. Uh, yoga means bhakti. Uh, there are different yogas, hatha yoga, gana yoga, tapa yoga, many. But the ultimate goal of this yoga, yoga means connect, connection. Connection with the law. So, ultimately, you have to come to the stage of bhakti yoga. So, yet, as then, bhakti yoga in a manasi, samma prani hite amale. The mind became completely 
Ipa. Omale. Mala means dirty things. And Omala means no dirty things. O means not. So mind became completely uh, purified by Bhakti Yoga. By Bhakti Yoga meditation, the mind became clean. That is required. Our mission of human life is to how to clean the mind. Uh, mind is not clean. Sinnatang sakata krishna pranat sabana kītana riddhantasya avadrāni avadrāni inauspicious things. Avadrāni. Bhadra means very good, auspicious. And avadra means inauspicious. So, in our conditioned state of life, our mind is full with inauspicious things. Uh, that is due to Rajagun and Tamagun. So, if we think of Krishna meditation, then this Raja Tamagun becomes clean. Nasta Prayasu Avadresh. Avadra means this Raja Tamagun. Uh, so if we think of Krishna, then gradually Chetadarpana Mahajanam, the mirror of our heart becomes clean. Uh, the Raja, Raja means dust, and Tama means darkness. Due to dark, dust, suppose you have to see one mirror, if it is covered with dust, you cannot see. Uh, so raja means the dust, and cannot see. It is darkness. There is thought. Uh, so bhakti yoga, you can see within the mind clearly everything. Uh, so yeah, bhakti yoga, yogi na manasi sammakranihite amale. Amale means we can completely clean. Uh, so how, what did you see? Uh, when it, the mind became clean, apasya he could see. Apasya purusam purnam. Purusam purnam. Purusam pars and purnam, complete. Uh, we are also person, every individual being, but we are not purnam. We are apurnam. <coughs> the Purna is the Supreme Personality of God, complete. Complete with everything. That is Purna. We are trying to be Purna, but it is not possible. We can be purified, but because we are very small particle, mamayivāṁsa, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita that we living entities, we are a small particles, just like the fire and the spark. The spark is also fire, but very small particles. Similarly, we are also fire, when as good as God in quality, just like the spark and the big fire. But this part is very small. It can uh, burn a small force. Suppose this part falls on your cloth, a spot can burn, but big part can burn. That is the distinction between God and ours. We are also God, but we are not poor non God. That is Krishna. Ishara Parama Krishna. Krishna stu Bhagavan Sam. So, as there, he is also living entity, although he is empowered. The Apasat Purusam Purn. Uh, he saw the Supreme Personality of God. And Mayantra Tad Apasrayam. And the backside is Maya. Maya means the external energy. Uh, 
Just like a, if you stand facing the sun, the back side of your, there is a big shadow. That is mine. So both things are there. The Purusham, the Krishna, and the Maya also, both things he saw. But he is not affected by Maya. This is the special significance of Krishna. All the Maya is there, he said. Maya answered the Pasraya. Maya is there. But Krishna is not influenced by Maya, but he is controller of Maya. Therefore he is described Ishara Parama Krishna. Ishara means control. Uh, we are controlled by Maya, but Krishna is the controller of Maya. That is the difference. Uh, we are not controller, we are controlled. In the next verse, it is described that for Jaya Sanvahito Jiva. This Maya is uh, uh, illusion, is illusion to the Jiva, to the living entities, not to Krishna. One who thinks Krishna as like us, uh, they, they are mistaken. Mura, they have been described in the Bhagavad Gita. Avajananti mana mura. Manasim tanuvasitam. Because I have come just like a human being, the rascals, mura, asses. Mura means ass. Uh, the example of mura, just like in our uh, vernacular language, we uh, condemn some person who is useless, gadha. Uh, so gadha, that is mura. Gadha, why he is condemned? Because he does not know his interest. He works under one washer man and loads uh, tons of cloth on the bed and uh, the washer man gives a morsel of grass and he stands the whole day again carrying back the big tons of cloth. But why he is Gadha? And this grass can be had anywhere, but he is thinking the washer man is supplying me grass, therefore I must carry his body, therefore he is Gadha. <laughs> He can get grasses anywhere, but he is thinking that this Mr. Wasserman is so kind that he is giving me grass, so I have to bear his cloth. So the Kormis, uh, they are like that. They are thinking that unless we work, we cannot get our grass. Therefore, they have been described in the Shastra as asses. Mura. Uh, mura. Mura Ravijana. So these Mura, these asses, they consider Krishna as one of us. Abhijananti mana Mura. Mana Simtanama Sitam. Param Bhava Vajananta. Param Bhava Vajananta. They do not know what is the value of Krishna. Therefore, uh, the Krishna Consciousness movement is there to teach people to understand properly Krishna. And what will be the result? The result will be Janma Karman Chati Midip Me Dibvam Jujanati Tattva. If anyone simply understands Krishna, why he comes here? Jada Jada Isanma Sabgani Bhavati. Pradatmanam Sijamaham. Uh, so this is Dibbam. This is not ordinary bar. Uh, ordinary bar, uh, then why not only in India and other parts of the world, the Krishna's birthday is celebrated very pompously. If you would have been an ordinary man, 
then why people are interested? No. Therefore, Jarma, his Jarma is the bomb. That is transcendental. That is not ordinary birth. Therefore, you are sick. The birthday of Krishna, everyone, every Hindu, every Indian, even Mohammedans, they also are there. In India, there are many Mohammedans, they also are there, Krishna's birthday. So, Apasat Purusham Purna. Krishna is Purna Purusha. Uh, there is no lack of everything. Sarai Sarja Purna. Six kinds of opulences. Riches, uh, fame, uh, strength, uh, beauty, knowledge, and renunciation. He is full. That is called Purna. Apasat Purusam Purna. And Maya answered the Pasam. This Maya also there, but Krishna is not affected by Maya. That is this time in the Bhagavad Gita. The Ividhesa Gunamai Momo Maya Duratvaya. It is Duratvaya for the living entities, not for Krishna. Because Krishna is the controller. And we are controlled. Uh, therefore, in the next verse it is said, hmm, Jaya Sanvahita Jiva. Jiva, we living entities, we are being controlled by this Maya. Sanmohita. Sanmohita means illusion. Mohita means captivated. And some mohita, some means some fully. Fully. We are, you see, all these conditioned souls, they are uh, captivated by this material energy. Just uh, like you, all Indian, you have come here so far. Uh, many people go, I have also come, but the, uh, some of us, we have come, being allured by Maya, and some may have come for other purposes. So, generally, this jiva, the living entity, they are allured by this Maya. The Vyasthiv saw two things. Krishna, the Purusham Purna, and his illusory energy. So this illusory energy is not uh, controller of Krishna. Uh, just like darkness. Darkness, we have got experience. Uh, here, at night, we are experiencing darkness. But there is no darkness in the sun. The sun is there in the sky. Uh, because the sun is not here, therefore it is darkness. But as soon as the sun will appear in the morning, there will be no darkness. Krishna Surya Sama Maya Andhaka Jaha Krishna Taha Nahi Maya Radhika. You haven't got to drive away darkness uh, by some separate endeavor. You simply get the Krishna sun. Uh, uh, rise up, then your darkness is gone. This Maya, you know. If you uh, remain without Krishna consciousness, then it is said, Jaya Sanamahita Jiva. He will be that illusion. Jaya Sanamahita Jiva, Atmanam Trigunatmatam. Atmanam, we are self, the spirit soul. We are covered by this body, Trigunatmakam. Uh, this body means it is created by the material nature. Uh, in somebody, the quality of goodness is prominent, somebody, the quality of passion is prominent, and in somebody, the quality of ignorance is prominent. So according to this, uh, prominence of the particular modes of nature, quality, there is division. Brahman, Khatriya, Vaishya, Sudhya. Where there is prominence of the quality of goodness, that is Brahman. 
when there is prominence of equality of passion that is kshatriya when there is prominence of equality of mixture there is mixture also and that is vaishya and when there is quality of the prominence of ignorance that is shudra so everything is described in the bhagavad gita if you read carefully then you will understand things as they are that is our mission we have published all these authentic books bhagavad gita as it is and you can read them uh, the human life is meant for that that here maya is uh, deluding us jaga sarvahit jiva atmanam trigunatmakam atmanam i am self i am spirit soul part and parcel of god uh, i am eternal i am ever illuminated but i am thinking i am indian i am american i am hindu i am muslim i am christian i am man i am woman and this and that so designation uh, so bhakti means we have to become free from all these designations sarvopadhi vinirmuktam this is called upadhi upadhi means designation so the krishna consciousness movement means how to become free from this designation that is krishna consciousness the whole trouble in the world is due to this designation we are part and parcel of god we very much intimately related with god but on account of this designation we are each other enemies even in far away country the europeans are there the indians are there the africans are there but on account of this bodily designation separate european god the indian god this designation so this is here jaya sanmohit jiva by this designation all these living entities they are captivated by this designation jaya sanmohit jiva atmanam trigunatmakam is thinking that the spirit soul has become indian american african or bird beast and no trigunat hmm? paropi although he is transcendent to all these designation monute anartham unnecessarily they are creating separated conflict monute anartham tat kritam cha vibhadate and by the designation he is thinking i am indian i must act as indian i am european i must act as european tat kritam cha vibhadate this is called anartha unnecessary uh, the spirit soul is originally part and parcel of krishna he should develop his krishna consciousness and go back to home back to that is his real business but on account of this anartha created designation he is suffering uh, and he is trying to adjust things materially that will never be possible Puna puna chhod bhi ta chhod banana. You go, go on trying to adjust things on the material platform. It will never be done. Uh, Durasaya. This has been discussed. Durasaya ji bohiro thamani. Na te vidu shaat ka dote nahi Vishnu. Durasaya ji bohiro thamani. This is durasa. This hope will never be fulfilled. One must know it certainly. Uh, if you want to be happy if you want to be peaceful if you want to be elevated again to your original constitutional position then you take to krishna consciousness and be happy thank you very much hari Guna, 
Karma is the result of your associating with the guna. Just like disease, a particular type of disease is the result of your contaminating the germ of the disease. The disease uh, is secondary, the first year contamination. Uh, there are three gunas. That is material nature. Uh, you can contaminate uh, the tamagun, then you get a body of tamagun. If you contaminate rajagun, then you get the body of rajagun. And if you contaminate or associate with satagun, then you get a body like that. And if you become transcendental above the, all these gunas, then you become situated in your original spiritual uh, position. This is the way. Therefore, our duty is how to avoid the base contamination. Just like you try to avoid disease, you take vaccine. Similarly, if you uh, try to associate with the uh, best quality, more symmetry and nature, goodness, uh, that is safe for your liberation. And if you contaminate the other two qualities, rajagun and tamagun, then you will be more and more entangled. Uh, now I may have this nice human body, but if I contaminate Tamagun, the next body may be dog's body. Uh, Tamagun, the animal body. Then tree's body. There are so many, eight million four hundred thousands of bodies. Tatha de hantra prat. So, in the human form of life, we should be conscious of what kind of uh, association we shall accept. Therefore, we are trying to give association of Krishna consciousness. If you take this association, then you remain uncontaminated by the material qualities. Krishna consciousness. Then your original spiritual constitution and position is revived, and you go back to home, back to God. Expect to dominate a Sita Kiribati, Sahita Kiribati. May I know why she is the living entity, the Jew of the Sita Kiribati, from the Supreme Power, Lord Krishna? Thank you. Yes, that is not very difficult to understand. This life. In your Johannes Bar, there are so many people. Why not all of them come here? Some of them might have gone to the liquor store. Some of them might have gone to the hotel. So it is your option. The three qualities are there. Now it is up to you where to go. Uh, but if you know that by associating with the Krishna conscious people, you will be benefited, get knowledge, then you come here. And if you do not know in ignorance, then go to legal shop, hotel, restaurant. So, after all, 
we are part and parcel of God. God is fully independent. And we are minute part. The same example, that this part is minute portion of the fire. It has got the burning capacity. Not exactly like God, but it has got the godly power. There are so many examples, this morning I was discussing, that you are living entity, part and parcel of God, you have created on aeroplane 747 with 500 passengers and many tons of loads of things. It is flying. So that is your creation. And God's creation is this planet. This is also running 1,000 miles per hour. And so many big, big oceans, Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, and so many big, big mountains. It is also carrying. It is also floating in the air. And the 747 is also good. That is your creation, and it is God's creation. That is the difference. The quality, but not full, not poor, no. therefore, purusam poor. God has got the full, but not only this one planet, there are millions of planets floating in the air. You can see the sun planet. It is 1400,000 bigger than this planet. That is also lying in one corner. So that is God's creation. You can create a teeny in 747, that's all. Therefore, your power is there, the similar, but very, very small quantity. Uh, so we have to take care of our teeny power, just like this part. This part, hot, hot, but if it somewhere other falls down from the fire, it is extinguished. It is extinguished. Similarly, we are part and parcel of God, the spark. If we remain with the fire, it is beautiful. And if by chance you fall down, then you are extinguished. Your brilliancy, the fire quality, becomes extinguished. So our present position is like that. We are forgotten or fallen from God. So our, that little burning power, that is also extinguished. Now we have to revive it. Back to home, back to God. Then you become happy. Why you are bringing India? Krishna is speaking not for India, for everyone. What is this question? What is the, uh, the Eastern or Indian uh, understanding of utopia? Utopia? Perfect society. Yeah. Perfect society is Krishna consciousness. If you accept Krishna as a center, just like in a family, if you accept the head of the family, your father, as a guiding principle, the family is happy. And if you disrupt with the opinion of the father, somebody goes away, somebody is not happy, the family is distorted. Similarly, if you agree with the instruction of Krishna and God, the whole human society is in peace and prosperity. If you don't agree, don't agree, disagree, then it is disruption. The instruction is there in the Bhagavad Gita. You take it, you agree to it, and you become happy in this world and next world. 